boots on the ground are Minister Mutorwa and the Deputy Chief of Police, Major General Joseph Shikongo. They are accompanied by executives from the Roads Authority and other road safety stakeholders. The senior officials are on the ground to ensure that motorists comply with traffic rules. The new law on, on the lights, where the motorists are required to put lights. You see most of the cars, some of them are coming, no lights on, but I think the law is there now. Yeah. For you to be on a public, on a, on a road, main road. You, on a main road, you must put on the lights. Mm -hmm. But that information is, do we really aggressively give that information mm -hmm. to the public or not? I think this is what we were just discussing mm -hmm. yesterday, to come up with, a, a, with, with a, a formula of really going and reaching people. Handing out fines to road users who are in violation of the regulations is the last resort, says Major General Shikongo. He says law enforcement officials on the ground continuously educate drivers. Minister Mutorwa at the roadblock announced that the National Police have issued 3,707 fines worth more than $3 million since the start of the festive season. 197 vehicles were found to be unroadworthy and were subsequently suspended. A total of very frightening, very frightening this one, and I think it's one of the main causes of accidents. A total of 29,744 drivers were screened for alcohol, but not all of them were found to be drunk, of which 75 drivers were detained for driving a motor vehicle whilst under the influence of alcohol and liquor. Some of the more frequent violations the minister announced are unlicensed drivers, unlicensed vehicles, speeding and passengers not wearing seat belts. Inconsiderate driving. In other words, some drivers forget that they are not the only ones who are using the road and does not consider, does not appreciate, does not respect other road users. Inconsiderate driving. Motorway encouraged law enforcement officials to continue in educating motorists. Emil Seibib, NBC News, Okapuka Roadblock.